All right, guys, so this is the first video, the first one on this channel with my new iPhone. This is an iPhone 12. I got the uh, 256 gig storage, so I'm actually trying something a little new this time. I'm actually filming this mother effer in four frickin' K. Hell yes. Whoa, that is uh, a ridiculous amount of detail on my face there. Can can uh, count my nose hairs. And I can count the number of gray hairs on my chin now, so that's awesome. <sighs> what have I done? Uh, All right, guys, so uh, welcome to the video. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have a haul here. If you read the title of the video, you kind of know what's in this haul, but... DC Multiverse McFarlane figures, WWE Elite, why am I doing this with my hands? <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. I got some uh, NECA stuff, some NECA, hell yes. I got some Transformers, I got some comic books, and I got a single pop, one pop. I'm going to start with the comics like I always do. So let's go ahead and get started here with the DC with some Batman, got issue 101 here. I got the uh, variant cover. There's freaking Grifter, hell yes. If you're a fan of the original Image Comics, Wildcats, he was in Wildcats, right? Pretty sure he was in Wildcats. Grifter, baby, or was that Youngblood? I don't freaking remember what comic book he was in now, but hey, he's in Batman now. Grifter and Bats. I don't know who I just looked at because my door shut, but I just looked over there, talked to no one, and then looked back at you guys. Losing my mind here. I got Batman the Three Jokers. This is the uh, issue three. I'm assuming, I think this is the last issue in this series. Batman Three Jokers. I got this cover because it's from Killing Joke. Bam. I got Suicide Squad. I think this is the penultimate issue. I think they're going 11 issues and then they're calling it Quitso. Uh, Tom Taylor right there. Got some, uh, what's his ass? Here we go again. Here we go again. I got the new camera. I got freaking 4K. I got high def. I got freaking beautifulness right here, except gray chin hairs. I can't remember this freaking dude's name. Uh, Blue Beetle. Frick me in the freaking beehole. How do I forget this stuff? <sighs> Moving on to Marvel, Immortal Hulk right there. I'm uh, playing catch up on Immortal Hulk. I need to um, read a few issues. I think I'm like Six issues back on Immortal Hulk. Venom, however, I have caught up on. Venom Beyond, bam. Stuck in this alternate reality. I got this right here, and I can't remember if this... I think this is X-Men. I'm pretty sure this is X-Men. But Alex Ross, timeless cover. Cyclops, look at that. Look at that. That is an amazing freaking cover. Alex Ross, very, very, very talented man right there. I got some image books. I got Stillwater number two. I did not read Stillwater number one yet. It's still in my uh, read box. Not even a read pile. It's four freaking short boxes. Four freaking short boxes. That's my read pile. Got to play catch up. Got to read more. Got to buy less comics. That's what I got to do. I, I can't seem to be doing either one of those very well right now. Not reading more. Not buying less. Still buying the same freaking stack of comics. Still got a freaking four boxes of comics here. Nailbiter Returns. This is a good book. This is, I have been reading this. I read this because it's a little bit of a horror comic and I read it for the Halloweens. Great, great, great comic book. And then bam, this is the one. This is the new hotness right here. The last Ronin. I have no idea which freaking turtle it is, but there's one turtle left. He's got all the weapons from all the turtles. Not sure who it is. I'm guessing, my guess is Mikey, Mikey, because uh, he was the jokester and now he's got to be all serious and I guess maybe avenge his broski's death skis. But uh, there's the comics, ladies and gents, there's the comics. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this glorious McFarlane. Should I use this as my thumbnail? Let's try it. Let's try this. Bam! I got these figures right here. I got these all from, I think, Amazon or something. Was it a Walmart, Amazon? I don't remember. I don't remember. I got this one right here. This is the uh, Robin right here. 
There's three different versions of this one. I'm not going to buy all three. Ver I'm not going to buy three versions of this. I'm just going to buy one. I'm just going to buy one, even though he's meant for uh, Robin building right there. Batman who laughs. Freaking uh, Robin Earth negative 22. Comes with the Merciless torso. The evil Batman Wonder Woman right there. Merciless. Can't wait to build the Merciless. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? At the end of this haul, I am going to cut ski. And then I'm going to open up all of these guys right here. And I am going to fill the shelf. And then I am going to show you the updated shelf. Here is another figure that I got. Batman. This is the uh, Batman from Death Metal. Yeah. Ooh, Death Metal. I got another Batman who laughs. He's actually laughing. As opposed to, is the other one laughing? The other one's just smiling. Batman who smiles right there. Batman who laughs right freaking here. Bam. More merciless parts. And then last, but certainly not least, I hear people raving about this, uh, this buck, this sculpt, this body, the Superman body. I think they're gonna probably use the same body for Bizarro, but this is soups, infected soups right there, Merciless legs. I'm gonna build Merciless. I'm gonna stick them on the shelf. I'm gonna show you the updated shelf. And guess what? Guess what else is gonna be on the shelf? Bam, Red Death. Red Death, little flash ski. I don't know if I'm gonna get flash on the shelf, to be honest with you. I don't know if I have room for him at this point. I got Superman hanging out over here. No room for soups on the shelf. So Flash might be hanging out with soups. Oh, by his lonesome. Actually, he'll have a little friendo over here on the, the shelf here. Let's move on to this single pop here that I got. Bam! I got this one right here, Beetlejuice, one of my favorite movies of all time. Michael Keaton, one of my favorite actors of all time. Beetlejuice, one of my favorite movies of all time. I love Beetlejuice. I love it so much. Uh, I pre-ordered the Barbara and, what's his ass, Alec Baldwin, Adam, this one right here. I pre-ordered these two from Entertainment Earth. This one got shipped, this one's still waiting, but that's just awesome. I mean, look at that. I know you guys don't like Pops. I know there's some of you that like Pops. I still collect them. I'm very, very picky though. I'm very finicky when it comes to my Popskis. But look at that. I mean, that's just awesome. That's just awesome. NECA, when are you gonna do Beetlejuice figures? I know you've already done some. They're kind of statue-like. They're not very articulated. Do some updated Beetlejuice figures. Do some ultimate Beetlejuice figures, please. Please, do this. NECA, someone. Anyone, HBO, help a brother out. Even if Mezco, 112 Collective, hook it up. WWE Elite figures. I know a lot of you guys are wrestling fans. I know a lot of you guys collect WWE Elite figures. So uh, here is, I guess, uh, uh, thumbnail potential number two. Bam. Uh, Kane, I am going to unbox these as well. And I'm going to put these in their respective places. Currently, I have two Detolf shelves devoted to WWE Elite figures. I got a SmackDown shelf. I got a Raw shelf. I got NXT figures in a spot over here. I got AEW figures over here. I got freaking Attitude Era figures over here. I got Ruthless Aggression figures down here. I'm going to go ahead and unbox these and put them in their spots and show you, I guess, my current display. He's going to go. This is going to be my Ruthless Aggression cane. This one's definitely going to go in my Ruthless Aggression display. I have been waiting for a figure of this guy for so long because he is awesome. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite wrestlers of all time. Rest in peace, Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero. I got this, uh, tar I think this was a Target exclusive. Eddie, look at that Eddie Guerrero figure. Look at that. So freaking awesome. So awesome. I miss Eddie Guerrero. Miss him a lot. Bam! Io Shirai. She's awesome. Freaking love Io Shirai. There she is. I got her figure right there. There she is right there. There's the rest of the ones in the wave. Bam! Io. Got a little furry hood coat on. She's going to go in the NXT area. It's not a shelf. 
They're actually sitting on one of my arcade <laughs> one-ups here. Last two are brothers. They're Samoan. They're the cousins of the current Blue Universal champion, Roman Reigns. And they are the Usos. So I got these two Usos right here, Jimmy and Jay. And I like how they have different gear. Jay's got the vest on. Jimmy's got like the jacket with the hood. He's got a little hooded jacket there. So they're gonna look very, very cool next to Roman on the shelf. I do not have a Blue Universal Champion belt. He still has the red belts, but as soon as a Blue Universal belt comes out, I think there's one coming out with Goldberg. I'll get that belt, put him on Roman, and that's my SmackDown shelf right there. So I'll show you that one as soon as I unbox these two guys right here. We are cooking with gas, guys. So here are the NECA purchases that I picked up. I saw this in the store, it was on clearance. So I was like, how freaking yes, bam. Pat Morita, Mr. Miyagi, look at that. He even comes with a bonsai tree. Wax on, wax off, daniel son. I do want to find the Johnny in the skeleton outfit. I'm not so sure on that Daniel. I don't really like the face sculpt, but I definitely want to find the Johnny. But uh, this is gonna look awesome. I actually have a new shelf for NECA. Got some Goonies on it, got some Back to the Future on it, but uh, Karate Kid figures will go on there as well. Decided to get this one right here. I think this was an exclusive as well. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, two pack. Sarah Connor, John Connor, I am here to protect. <laughs> I'm not even gonna continue on with that terrible Arnold impersonation. I got the Sarah Connor, John Connor, two pack. I love the accessories that it comes with. The T-800 arm right there, multiple head sculpts, some gun skis, bam. John's little uh, frickin' ATM machine hacking tool. This is awesome. And that leaves us with Transformers. So, here we go. All right, so I got some more for Cybertron figures here, and I also got two Masterpiece figures here. We're gonna start with the War for Cybertron figures first. I do have a Quintesson Judge on the way, but it, you can't have a Judge if you don't have his little frickin' Alicons here. Bam! Got two Alicons. This is my army of Alicons. I just need two. Two is an army for me. Army of two. One, not an army. One dude. Two, army. That's how I play it. Alicons. And then we got a character that was in Siege War for Cybertron, but this is labeled as a Earthrise figure, so I'm assuming we continue to see what's going on on Cybertron. RC! So there's freaking RC. She had a little side mission with Bumblebee and uh, what's his ass? And they encountered Sound Blaster. I loved that scene. I loved that scene. That was so cool. Uh, Cog. Cog was the third one and their little side mission there. RC, Bumblebee, and Cog. So very, very cool. There's RC. I got this one from Entertainment Earth. It is upside down. It is <laughs> exhaust. So, and he does have the mercenary symbol on his chest. So it's basically like the same mold as Wheeljack, but this is exhaust. And he's a merc. And we have seen from the trailer that he will be in uh, Earthrise. He is labeled as Decepticon exhaust, but he's clearly a mercenary. But very, very happy to pick that one up. Last two items in the uh, the haul here. I uh, got one of these from a buddy, Jimpy Zayo. Follow Jimpy Zayo. He's got a great YouTube channel. Uh, he's in Florida, and he found this at a freaking Ross. Uh, and we do not have any of these at our Rosses, but he was able to find this one, and uh, I bought it from him. He sent it to me. Here is the price. Ridiculous price for this masterpiece. Ironhide, so hell yes! Masterpiece Ironhide. Thank you, Jimpy. Thank you, Jimpy Zayo. Very, very happy to get Ironhide and kind of set things in motion with that Ironhide. I have the Starscream Masterpiece. I now have the Ironhide Masterpiece. I saw this one at Target for full price. And I was like, you know what? I got a coupon, 25% off. There's 25% off of one toy. So I used it on this guy, saved some bucks. I had a little gift card also. I put it towards it. Uh, I know this thing's probably gonna go on clearance at Target and then probably gonna end up at Ross. I don't care. I'll pay 
close to full price, I guess, with my coupon close to full price, but I got it anyway. There's Ratchet. I ended up paying, I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks after all was said and done with my gift card and the coupon and all that stuff. So pretty damn good deal. I'm happy with it. If it goes down to 40 bucks, 25 bucks, I don't care. I'm happy that I got it. So there is Ratchet. Very, very cool. Masterpiece Ratchet. That's the haul, guys. That's this haul. I do have more stuff. I didn't want this video to go too long. And I did want to take this stuff out and kind of show you the displayage here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut, unbox, place, and then uh, I'll show you kind of uh, some stuff. All right, here we go. So we're going to start with the McFarlane Toys display and then do the uh, WWE Elites after that. Right here, we got some regular old Batman. Got Batman, Nightwing, Batgirl. Up here, I have the uh, Curse of the White Knight and White Knight figures. I really, really love that Batman Asriel back there. I love all the White Knight figures, they look great. And there's the new one there. And then down below, look at this shelf, holy frick. We have the Dark Knight's Metalverse figures back here with the uh, Batman Who Laughs, Grim Knight, Infected Soups, Merciless, Devastator, Dawnbreaker. They look very, very awesome on this shelf. Very, very cool. Here's the first Batman Who Laughs. Here's a little Demon Robins. I really, really like this shelf a lot. It looks a little crowded but um, it's awesome. So there's that shelf. Let's take a look at the WWE Elite stuff now. Here is my SmackDown shelf. So here are Jimmy and Jay Uso with Roman. These are all SmackDown superstars here. And down below we have Raw. Got a little Raw shelf here. You'll see there's an empty spot right there that is reserved for Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt. I have The Fiend right here. One of my favorite figures of the year for WWE Elite. But uh, Firefly Funhouse Bray will be going right there. Got the Hurt Business in there. Matt Riddle, another one of my favorite Elite figures this year. Here's Randy, current champion. All right, moving on over here. This is kind of my uh, temporary spot for my NXT figures. There's EO right there. Choppa, Pete Dunn, Undisputed Era. I do have Kyle O'Reilly on the way. So I will have the entire Undisputed Era there. I know they're not WWE, but these are AEW figures. Here's where I currently have my AEW figures. There's the Nerd Bar. Currently have some movie Deadpool figures, movie Venom in there. There's a Maverick, some Joes up top. Little thing that uh, Tay Tay and P Dog made for me for Father's Day, which I freaking love. Those are their feet. There's a little feet. And then last but not least, here is my Attitude Era figures right here. And then down below, we have some Ruthless Aggression figures. I will say that this Eddie Guerrero. Another one of my favorite WWE Elite figures this year. There's the new Kane I just unboxed. Got some Dudley Boys, Hardys, Taker, Rated R Superstar Edge. So I really, really like these. This Stone Cold will probably be going down to the Ruthless Aggression figures down here. Once the new Ultimate Stone Cold comes out, he's going to go right there. So there you go, guys. There's just a little mini collection tour, WWE Elite and McFarlane DC Multiverse. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. I absolutely appreciate that. But thank you for watching, liking, commenting subscribing and sharing that's it for now i got some more stuff i'm going to show you in the next video i got to space things out space them out i don't want to do it all i don't want to blow my lizard in one shizzat so i'm going to show you 
it's mostly a Star Wars video. It's mostly a Star Wars haul. Next video, Star Wars Black Series. A lot of Star Wars Black Series. Some Star Wars... Star Wars Hot Toys. Three Star Wars Hot Toys. Two of which I traded for. Actually, all three of which I traded for. Two I traded with my buddy Leon. One of which I traded Dallas Vintage Toys. But I got three. And I got some Marvel Legends. I got some Marvel Legends. And I got... Freaking Mezco, new Mezco two pack. So check that out next video. Thanks for watching again. You guys are awesome. But uh, that's it for now. And adios and have fun collecting. Uh. Get to the chopper, hurry, I'm right here, do it now, hurry, kill me, it's not a tumor, hey Sully, remember when I told you I was going to kill you last, I lied.